Before we start, this method of face tracking works best when you have all the shape keys and they are named properly. If they're not named properly, your animations will show up as yellow. There will be links in the description of documentation on all shape keys you will need. While Vive does have their own documentations on their own shape keys, which I based mine off of version 2, the wiki in which this is based off of would be best reference. Everything is going to be linked in the description. Other software and Unity packages will be linked there as well. Also, this method of face tracking works best with the HTC Vive Pro I and the HTC Vive Lip Tracker. You need one of these items or both of these items for face tracking in VR. Best results are with both. These items are available for purchase in the description below. Some of these links are affiliate links and do provide me with a small amount of support at no additional cost to you, which is greatly appreciated. I also need to mention this video's sponsor, the subscribe, like, and dislike buttons. It's my hope that this video will provide you with enough value to interact with them. Also, not to mention the comment section below. If this video helped you, please don't be afraid to say thank you in the comment section below. Of course, constructive criticism is welcomed as well. We're going to start with your Unity project already set up with your VRChat SDK already imported. The first thing you're going to do is download VRC face tracking template version 3.0.4. Link is in the description. Then we're going to import it into your project folder by dropping it into the assets folder. You'll get this dialog menu and then you'll click import. After it's done importing, you'll see a file named VRC face tracking. Click on it to open it and then go to VRC FT templates. Click on your model in the hierarchy, then drag FX VRC FT full facial template 120 bits into your controller. Then click on playable layers, then click on FX and additive. Drag FX VRC FT full facial template 120 bits into FX, then drag additive VRC FT into additive. Then scroll down to your expressions menu. Click Customize, drag Menu VRC FT into Menu, and then drag Hara VRC FT into Parameters. Go back up to the controller, click on FX, and then click on your Animation tab. If you don't have the Animation tab, go to Window, go to Windows, then click on Animation. Anything listed in yellow is an item that's missing and will need to be replaced. You can do this by Duplicate your model by right-clicking on your model and then selecting Duplicate. Hide your duplicated model by clicking this checkbox. Double-click on your model, then click Preview, then press the Record button. Select the blend shape that you want and move the slider all the way to the right. Then I press the Record button again, then right-click on the one that's yellow, and then select Remove Property. Go through each animation listed below the Preview button and replace any items that are missing in yellow as shown before. Some animations you're not going to be able to replace, especially if you don't have them. For example, I don't have eye dilation or eye pupil constrict. How I handled this was by going to the VRC face tracking folder, clicking on animations, by clicking on the eyes pupil constrict and eye pupils dilation animations, and then pressing delete. After I went ahead and deleted those, then I went into the animator tab and deleted any parameters or layers mentioning them. I also deleted any mentions of my pupils dilating or constricting in the parameters menu by going down to expressions and then double clicking on para VRC FT. Click on any item that mentions eye dilation and then click on delete. Also do this for eyes constrict. Also delete mention of dilation in the menu by going back to expressions and then clicking on menu VRCFT then click on delete for eye dilation. I found that doing this solved a problem where my eyes were jittery on my side. You're also going to find that a lot of problems are going to be through VRChat on VRChat's side. You might not be able to see the particular issues that other people will see on your model. Hopefully this improves in the future. Once you've gone through all your animations, go ahead and upload your avatar. In my experience, doing this was a lot of trial and error. So what might work for me might not work best for you, which is why I'm only giving out the template and not what I have. Also, if you need help, you can always get assistance in the VRChat face tracking discord. Next, I'm going to show you how to use the VRChat face tracking software to work with VRChat. If you haven't done so already, 
please go down to the description and download VRC FT standalone app and 5SR Anapol installer 1.3.1.1. Now, I know this is an older version of SR Anapol, but the current consensus is that this works better than newer versions. If you want to try newer versions, please feel free to experiment. After installing VRC FT and 5SR Anapol, open Steam VR and turn on your controllers. Then navigate to where you installed VRC Face Tracking, or otherwise known as VRC FT, and open it. This will automatically open up SR Anapol. When SR Anapol opens up a user account control dialog asking you to click yes or click no, click yes. Put on your headset and then press your menu button. If you're using eye tracking with the Vive Pro Eye, I recommend that you calibrate. Go through the instructions that it gives you. I honestly recommend doing the calibration before each session because I found that it increases the accuracy of your tracking. And then when you're done, open up VR chat. So I'm going to show you guys how I switch in and out of avatars that have face tracking. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to open up my OVR menu, my OVR toolkit, and show all of my windows. Uh, this is what I have up right now. Uh, this right here is how I hear you guys in chat, so I get a notification, and I don't really necessarily need to look at my hands. Uh, this is everything that I see over here on my left, the center, it, on top is uh, fa is the face tracking software that's going to be called uh, VRC Face Tracking, uh, it's executable. Uh, I have this, uh, if I go to properties here, and you can see I can change the background uh, opacity and I can also change the font uh, color uh, and the layout and all this stuff. Um, which is how I am able to see it and see what's everything behind it. Sometimes this is kind of useful if I want to uh, to be facing it at the same time. So for example, right now, uh, I want to switch avatars, right? So I'm going to go ahead and click on this window, and then I'm going to press P, which will pause the, pause the tracking, and then I'll switch avatars. So right now my face is stuck, okay? So this face is stuck like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put avatars. Hold on. So I'm going to go to avatars. And I'm going to pick another one. So I'm in my gamer one right now. I'm going to go to my made one. So we're going to go ahead and change into that. I'm going to line up myself with my mouth. Because that's how I align myself with my avatar. My feet are aligned, and we're going to uh, lock in artsy style. Okay, so you're going to notice that my, uh, my, my face is paused, and that there's like an animation, like a default animation that's, that's on there. This is fine. This is actually kind of, kind of somewhat normal. Uh, if, if your face does this, don't panic. Uh, what, what it is, is that your tracking is currently paused. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to, uh, let's go back to, uh, let's mute VR chat. Okay, so we're going to mute VR chat there. And we're going to go back to the uh, VRC face tracking uh, application. We're going to click on that. And then we're going to press P, which will unpause the, the software. And then your face will start tracking again. And that's how it's done.